since the last video I've added these four cross members they'll support the bed of the load space. I've welded in this tubular section to protect the front of the transaxle in case it hits any obstructions on the ground. Um, it also supports two mounting points on the front of the transaxle and lastly it gives me somewhere I could tie a rope if I ever need to pull this thing up out of a ditch or recover it after the engine breaks down or something. Okay, the gear linkage started life a bit like this. This was actually off another machine. It's one of these adjusters with a right-handed thread at one end and left at the other. So just by turning the rod you alter the length. I needed one very much longer so I cut it and fitted it into a piece of tube like this. It's very much lighter than it looks but it's nice and rigid. Here on the back of the machine I've put a bracket to take the uh, gear shift mechanism. So down at the bottom this will connect up to the extension rod. There's a left handed thread going in. Forward gear is selected like this and then back this way we eventually hit neutral. To get into reverse, which is something you don't want to do by accident, this mechanism will slide across and then one more click it will pass that stop. So that's one little concession to safety. I now have an engine. This was off a pedestrian lawnmower. Four and a half horsepower. I just want to show you the uh, way I've attached the pulley. Here I bought a 75mm pitch diameter pulley uh, for an A section belt and I've attached it with a taper lock bush. The only complication was the key. The uh, bushing is cut for a parallel key and the shaft was cut for a woodruff key of a different size so I had to make a special key to adapt the two together. That should be okay. okay this is the uh, engine mount which also supports the caster has uh, adjustable slots where it mounts which gives 30 millimeters of adjustment for belt stretch. The engine sits on top, mounts into these four holes. Small cutout here for a piece of the casting which sticks down below that level. Uh, underneath we have the part that supports the caster and in there we have two guides which uh, support the outside edge of the belt. So I'll pop that onto the machine so you can see how it sits. Right, I've temporarily bolted the engine mount onto the chassis so you can see how it all lines up. And I'll drop the engine in. So I've just loosely attached the engine. I'll show you how the belt goes. in through this guide and here we have a belt tensioning mechanism which is going to double up as the clutch. I've still got to work out how to control that. So with it tight if I turn the engine loose. still turns but it's taken all the power out of it. I'll probably have to put some extra belt guides in to stop the belt falling off. <laughs>